what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In the months after Darren Johnson found out that he was the father of a two-year-old girl, he took to the internet to get some advice. How can I stop child support? He tapped into his phone in 2015. How does the court know if child support is not paid? He typed shortly after. And in January 2016, he asked, what if I'm behind on my child support? Weeks later, after $600 a month began garnishing from his paychecks, his daughter, Chloe Davis, and the girl's mother, Nashante Davis, were dead. It appeared, according to prosecutors, that Darren's answer to his child support problems was executing the mother and daughter in the early morning hours of February 2nd, 2016. A Prince George's County jury on Tuesday agreed and convicted Darren of two counts of murder in the double killing. They convicted him with no gun and no DNA evidence at the murder scene. Prosecutors relied on his videotaped confession to detectives, cell phone records, surveillance videos, and notes he wrote to his loved ones before heading to jail. I'm not the monster they are making me to be, he wrote to the mother of his other two children. I was lying to them until they bring me your picture, he told his girlfriend. This is how they said it went down. They said on February 2nd, 2016, early morning hours, he went to his girlfriend's, well, his baby mama's neighborhood. And he sat outside on the steps at a house two doors down from her house. He was waiting on her to come out of the house to go to work. So she comes out of the house, he approaches her and tells her, I want to talk about this child support. She refused to talk about the child support with him. That's when, by his own admission, in his tape confession, he said he pulled out the gun from his waistband and shot her. Then he shot the baby twice. They say that he shot the baby the, the gun blast was so powerful that the baby fell out of the car seat. Um, so the bottom line is that Chloe, the little baby, Chloe was a bill that he didn't want to pay. So he figured like, well, you know, this bill is reoccurring. I can't get rid of it best thing I can do is kill. I'm going to kill the baby. I'm going to kill the mama. Bam. I wish like hell that the type of punishment he's going to get because he's up for a life sentence. No parole. I wish that could be a, a deterrent, right? I wish that these people that do all of these just stupid ass, commit all these stupid crimes. I wish it could be a deterrent. I wish that the girl who shot the guy in the car in Houston while she was playing with the gun shot him in the head. I wish that the time that she get, the sentence that she get could be a deterrent for others. But it won't. Americans are fixated with doing stupid shit. I mean, the things that Americans do to get themselves in a jam, the crimes that they commit over nothing. I mean, they commit crimes every day over trivial things. Stupid. It's just, it, it just totally boggles the mind. I have zero sympathy for any type of deadbeat. I have 
zero sympathy for a female deadbeat or a male deadbeat. Man, if two, day, if two lay down and three get up, you got to take care of the third one. Let me say it again. If two lay down and three get up, that third one didn't ask to come here. The two knew what they were doing. But that third one had no say in the matter. So, therefore, that third one got to be protected, got to be provided for. That's the deal, man. If you don't want that kid, keep it in your pants. Because anything could happen, even if you use protection. Anything could happen, even if you use birth control. Anything could happen. You don't want it. Man, keep your damn clothes on. You would think that after Ray Carruth, that a lot of these dudes would learn their lesson and say, you know what? Damn, maybe, uh, shit, maybe killing her ain't the best thing to do. Um, it's just like when somebody gets killed that's in a relationship, like, say, a husband and wife, or any type of relationship, any type of relationship, if somebody gets killed, the first person that they're going to suspect is anybody who was that person's love interest. If it's a married couple, they're going to suspect the surviving spouse first. So you are already at a disadvantage if you're trying to hide it, if you're trying to conceal your crime. You're already at a disadvantage. It's very simple, man. Keep it in your pants. That's all you got to do. But if two lay down and three get up, you got to take care of that third one. You got to do that. And I know some of y'all going to jump into this comment section and go in on child support because every chance you get, well, it's unfair. Yes, it's unfair. But you know this, man. You already knew before you did it. You knew that the system was unfair. At least for 30 years running, we've been knowing that the system is stacked against men. We know this, man. So if you go down that road, you got to be prepared. If, if, you, if it's just a jump off, if it's a side piece, if it's a chick that you don't get along with but the sex hot, if she's not really the attractive type of chick that, that you're normally attracted to, whatever she is, you got to deal with it if she get pregnant. You got to deal with it. That's the way it is, man. I'm tired of men acting like little boys, crying about this, complaining about it, when they know the rules. Yes, I, I'm... Listen, man, I, I got to do my part with child support. You know, my kids are in college and I still pay child support, mainly because I want to. I, I like the idea of paying child support. I'm cool with it. But I understand I, not everybody can do that. Not everybody got that, you know, got it like that. So I understand that. So I ain't, you know, I'm not trying to be condescending, man. I get it, you know. Sometimes they take it, they take a lot more out than they need to. I get that. But my my child support is volunteer. You know what I'm saying? I do it voluntarily. Uh mine been over. But anyway, I I feel your pain, man. I get it. I get it. But I'm just saying that's what it is, y'all. The the system is stacked against the men. And what's messed up is that. Some men don't want to do nothing. It's all kind of cases. It's very, very complex. Everybody's case is a little bit different, a little different. But, you know, the worst kind of dudes are the kind that don't want to pay nothing, don't want to do nothing, and then they complain. That's the ones really I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the dudes who, you know, that, that complain and, you know, they already paying everything. They, can get, they get so much money. 
you know, the, the government is overreaching, taking too much out. I get that. I, I, I sympathize with y'all. But even at the end of the day, y'all, at the end of the day, you, you got to do whatever you got to do to get them off of you, get the system off of you. But ain't nothing you can do to get that baby off of you. That's what it is. And then you try anything else, man, they're going to come get you. The same way they did old, uh, what's his name, Darren. Same, same way they did old Darren, they're going to do you. And you know, if I could talk to old Darren just for one moment, i say, Darren, we got some good news and some bad news. That sounds like something the lawyer would say. I come to him like the lawyer. Darren, we got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that you don't have to pay child support anymore. The bad news is your child support is going to be replaced with having to pay commissary for the rest of your life while doing time locked up in a cage like an animal. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? <laughs>